I still think that there is an extraordinary opportunity for people in your position to appeal to fans directly and to say the game you are watching is so structurally unfair right now that it's a crime. Right. And, right? Then, and, and I think that's a great argument. If, if you're right, and I hope, mm -hmm. I hope you are, you can appeal to fans about how dangerous this game is when it comes to concussions, um, how much of an obligation a team has to take care of its players, yet last year we saw an NFL player basically concussed on the field. They left him on the field. The training staff came. Wait, which time are we talking about? Right this happened about like Keenum 10 times. Now, okay. uh, yeah. with, with the Rams. Okay. Um, and, and the trainer left the, the field with the player remaining in the game. I would have to guess, but I don't think many fans left the stadium. The Rams organization, their medical staff was named um, NFL Medical Staff of the Year after that. You know, we've, we've just gone through this little period where Colin Kaepernick has, you know, taken over the airwaves with yep. his stand. Yep. And it's his example of the last two weeks suggests to me that there is an, an enormous amount of attention that players can bring to the issues in their lives by the stands they make on the field. Absolutely. Right? So, I mean, what if after that Rams game, all the Rams knelt during the national anthem the next game could, in protest could, about what happened to could, one of their own on the previous game? Could be game? incredibly powerful. I think that the only thing I would say to that is while those things um, – could have an outstanding impact and change things. Um, the other reality is 32 billionaires deal from a power position. But, but the 32 billionaires get all their money from a broadcaster who gets all of his money from advertisers. And, they, and advertisers and they, and are- they gave them four billion. I know, but advertisers are acute. They have their finger on the pulse. If they thought for a moment that the public perceived the game they were watching was in some sense illegitimate, right. they would run for the hills. Maybe, but you're talking about not only the networks, but Pepsi, everything that's sold in our concession stands, the police officers who get overtime, the bars who rely on TV to be shown, the people who are selling hotels, mm -hmm. all of those people they want the were going to, to lose, right? They want the sausage to get made.